आज के इस कार्यक्रम के मुख्य अतिथि महोदय अपर नौ वहन महानिदेशक श्री अमिताभ कुमार भारतीय राजस्व सेवा आप उन्नीस बैच के अधिकारी हैं आपने दिल्ली विश्वविद्यालय के हिंदू कॉलेज से राजनीति विज्ञान में स्नातक और अधिस्नातक परीक्षा पास की है आप सदर्न क्रॉस यूनिवर्सिटी ऑस्ट्रेलिया से एम हैं आपने मैक्सवेल स्कूल ऑफ पब्लिक पॉलिसी यू से उन्नत प्रबंधन की शिक्षा प्राप्त की है आपने वार्टन बिजनेस स्कूल यू से लीडरशिप एंड चेंज मैनेजमेंट का अध्ययन किया आयकर विभाग में विभिन्न पदों के अलावा आप गृह मंत्रालय में उप सचिव और निदेशक के पद पर आसीन रहे आपने दिल्ली पुलिस की रिस्ट्रक्चरिंग में महत्वपूर्ण भूमिका निभाई केंद्रीय प्रत्यक्ष कर बोर्ड से संबद्ध निदेशालयों में संगठन प्रबंधन संचार तथा करदाताओं से संबंधित नीतियों और सेवाओं के अलावा मानव संसाधन से संबंधित कार्य निष्पादित किए वर्तमान पद से पहले आप बड़ौदा के प्रधान आयकर आयुक्त के पद पर आसीन रहे आयकर संबंधी तमाम स्कीमों में नवाचार यानी इनोवेशन लाने के लिए आपको सीबीडीटी की ओर से तमाम अवार्डों से अलंकृत किया गया है आपको वर्ष 2014 का जी फाइल्स गवर्नेंस अवार्ड प्रदान किया गया आपने दिनांक आठ छः सोलह से दस छः सोलह को आई एम ओ हेडक्वार्टर्स लंदन में भारतीय शिष्टमंडल के लीडर के तौर पर अंतर्राष्ट्रीय समुद्रीय संगठन की लीगल कमेटी के एक सौ तीसरे सत्र में अपनी उपस्थिति दर्ज की और इसके अलावा आपने आई एम ओ काउंसिल मीटिंग लंदन के एक सौ सत्रहवें सत्र में भी अपनी उपस्थिति दर्ज की और आज हमारे आज के सातवें सीफेरस डे के अवसर पर हम सब के बीच अपनी उपस्थिति दर्ज कर आज के इस कार्यक्रम की शोभा बढ़ाई है आपका धन्यवाद आपसे आग्रह है कि आप अपने वक्तव्य से हम सबको लाभान्वित करने का अनुग्रह करें हमारे आज के मुख्य अतिथि महोदय श्री अमिताभ कुमार कैप्टन जय सुपल प्रिंसिपल ऑफिसर एंड जॉइंट डी जी टेक्निकल एम एम डी मुंबई कैप्टन फिलिप मैथ्यू प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एम टी आई मिस्टर एस एन राय ऑल मेम्बर्स ऑफ द नेशनल मेरेटाइम सेलिब्रेशन कमिटी डिस्टिंग्विस्ड गेस्ट फ्रॉम द इंडस्ट्री माई डियर फ्रेंड्स ladies and gentlemen we have assembled here today to celebrate the day of the seafarer this is the day where we recognize and recollect the role of shipping in shaping the growth of the world economies in the international trade and in the growth and well-being of humanity as a whole nobody could have summed up the role of shipping better than the formal secretary general of IMO when he said without shipping half the world would freeze and the other half would starve that is the importance of shipping in our daily life i must thank the national maritime day celebration committee and its chairman captain b b sinha who have worked tirelessly to organize a series of functions today to mark the day of the seafarer including this one and specifically for giving me this honor to be the chief guest of today's function the theme of the seafarers day is seafarers matter nothing could have been more apt more direct and more meaningful to celebrate the day of the seafarer seafarer matters because you may have a variety of vessels cargo or passenger oil or chemical tankers containers or bulk bulk carriers or any other specialized vessel it is the seafarer who navigates these vessels from one destination to another seafarer matters because we may have a plethora of rules or regulations tools or machinery plans and technology 
to keep our marine environment clean. But it is, in the end, the love of sea of the seafarers that keeps the, the marine environment clean and protected. Seafarer matters because the safety of life at sea does not only need stability, machinery, and electrical installations in the construction, or the fire protection, fire distribution, fire extinguishing machines, or life-saving appliances, or arrangements, or radio communications. Safety of life at sea is important, is managed, more importantly, by safe navigation. A vessel should be sufficiently and efficiently manned, and each mariner must take account of all possible dangers while manning a vessel. Safety also means an obligation of all masters to offer assistance to those in distress because life at sea matters. Life of seafarer matters. This place, Shipping Corporation of India, is just the appropriate place to discuss the importance of saving lives of those in distress. Captain Radhika Menon did us proud by winning the IMO Award for exceptional bravery by saving lives of so many fishermen. But more importantly, she reminded us the importance of saving lives because life matters. Today again, a young lady reminded us the importance of life at sea. And I must use this occasion to announce a special commendation award for her, for Desh Shanti, which will be announced, which will be given to her on World Maritime Day, that is the next 5th of April. Safety of life at sea doesn't mean only keeping life of others safe and secure. It is equally important to keep your own life safe and secure. The seafarer needs to follow all safety, safety drills and precautions in their day-to-day -day task and in dealing with special dangerous situation like piracy, armed robbery, etc. We had recently a very unfortunate incident in which a young cadet in the very first few days on a vessel lost his life while entering an enclosed space. We should all, whether it is MTIs, employers, masters, seniors, resolve that we will not allow incidents like this to be repeated. We need to keep reminding ourselves that our life as seafarer matters. Seafarers matter whether it is safe navigation, environment protection, safety of life at sea, and all other reasons. For India, seafarer matters in many other ways. As some speakers before me mentioned, when a seafarer and when an Indian seafarer visits an international shore, he conveys to the world how professional an Indian is. He conveys to the world how knowledgeable an Indian is. He conveys to the world how disciplined an Indian is and he conveys to the world how committed an Indian is. He conveys to the world what a new India is, and he conveys to the world 
what India wants to become. So he is the true ambassador of India in a foreign shore. India doesn't need the dollars, no. It is not important for India. It can earn enough dollars. But it needs its people, its human capital. It is the human capital of the country which tells the world that in the committee of nations, we have arrived, we are here to stay, and we are here to lead. So Indian seafarer matters because they are here to lead the world maritime community. Seafarer matters, and that is why it is important that we prepare our seafarers to lead the world. It is their destiny. It is their generation which is going to provide the leadership role to the maritime community in the world. But for that, they need to be the best in the world. They need to be best trained. And it is our responsibility to make sure that the training being provided to the seafarers today is second to none. It is better than the best anywhere in the world. The training provided to them is not only bookish, but completely hands-on, so that they are able to handle any situation, any crisis that is handed over to them and that the training provided to them is not a one-time training, but a continuous learning experience. Training is, however, not the end of the world, because in the end, seafarers are not machines. They are human beings. They feel happy. They feel sad. And it is important to take care of their emotional needs. It is our duty to improve the happiness quotient of the Indian seafarers wherever they work, whichever ship they join, whichever country is flagged, they fly. Of late, we have received several cases of missing seafarers, seafarer suicide, and we need to see that this tendency is checked, it is controlled, and all unhappiness that a seafarer, seafarer feels is converted into happiness. We in the Maritime Administration are absolutely conscious of the fact that seafarer matters. We feel that the emphasis needs to be given on training, on quality of training, on quantity of training, on multi-scaling of seafarers, on continuous learning through e-learning process, on ease of examination process, on transparency of training and examination, and on variety of things that the seafarers need to improve their skills. A number of complaints are received about seafarers who go to various countries to earn their living but end up getting stranded because they choose an incorrect path of gaining employment. A number of seafarers are going abroad without recognized uh, recruitment and placement agencies. As a result, when they face a crisis, as a, as a maritime administration, we feel constrained because we don't know about their employers, we don't have any safety or security measures taken for them. It is on this day that we again need to remind our seafarers 
that they also need to take care of their life, their safety, security, well-being, and the well-being of their family. They need to ensure that their whereabouts, their uh, contact details are known to each and every one when they travel abroad for work. They also need to ensure that when they travel abroad, they travel only through a government-recognized RPS. As a maritime administration, we are committed to provide any kind of welfare activity that a seafarer needs. India is already a party to MLC and has already brought MLC in its domestic, domestic legislation through MS MLC rules. The new MLC, the new uh, merchant shipping bill provides for welfare of seafarers even when they become victim of unfortunate situations like piracy or armed robbery. The industry has now set up a task force to increase the quantity and quality of the seafarers. The task force has again shown its commitment to not only increasing the jobs, availability of jobs for the seafarers, but also in improving the quality of the Indian seafarers. I am sure in the days to come, the Indian seafarers will not only have plenty of jobs, but we will also be proud to say that they, in terms of quality, remain the best in the world. On our part, we want to ensure that the Maritime Administration will provide footfall-free services to their doorstep. In their leisure time, they would not need to come to the Maritime Administration for all small jobs. They can use the e-services to be offered to them. Some of them are being offered already, but most of them will be rolled out in a year's time from now. We would like them to have their leisure time at home to enjoy, to recuperate, and then join the sea again with a new figure. With all this, I would again like to congratulate each and every seafarer present here and their family on this August day. Happy Seafarers Day to all. Thank you. हमारे आज के इस कार्यक्रम के मुख्य अतिथि महोदय अपर नौ बहन महानिदेशक श्री अमिताभ कुमार का हार्दिक धन्यवाद कि आपने अपने वक्तव्य से हमें अनुग्रहित किया और अब मुख्य अतिथि महोदय के लिए स्मृति चिन्ह मेमेंटो ताकि ये क्षण सदा याद रहें जब जब स्मृति चिन्ह पर नज़र पड़े आज का दिन आज का ये अवसर आपके समक्ष फिर से जीवंत तो उठे स्मृति चिन्ह हमारे आज के मुख्य अतिथि महोदय के लिए मुख्य अतिथि महोदय के लिए स्मृति चिन्ह 